All right, so check out how cool this is. All you gotta do is select your genre. So we can select hip hop and rap, select your key, you can do D minor, do hybrid advanced, see what it gives us. And from here, the cool part is you can randomize the chord progression and the exact melody will then follow the new progression. And from here, you can also change the sound randomly. The built-in synth has all of these presets. Plus you have the option to get these expansion packs. But if you press this, it'll select the new sound. Now we can get to Unison Link. With Unison Link, you can use Unison MIDI Wizard 2.0 with Bass Dragon to create matching bass lines to your new chord progression. So now all you gotta do is put them to the same group via unison link. Now you're gonna have a matching bass line to your melody. That's something really cool because you can keep doing it and it'll always uh, match. Even if you change the chord progression, it'll always match like that. Right, cool so let's move on to the next genre and we got tons of features to walk through still all right so let's go to house so we got a drum loop here now we're going to open up mini wizard 2.0 and next i'm going to show you the chords so now's a good time to explain the three brand new modes and the types that we have so chords will generate a full chord progression a long block chord progression if you select this If you select rhythm, it'll give it a rhythm. And you can obviously change the progression. And also the sound. And then we're gonna use Unison Link to give it a bass line with Bass Dragon. So we can go ahead, open up our bass dragon. Go ahead and put it to group two. And let's see what it gives us. All right, so let's go back to the chord rhythm and I'm gonna show you some more customization options. If you go here, we have all these built-in effects. Can adjust the reverb. I'll solo it. Then you have all of these effects auto pan, bit crush, destroy, detune. So you can customize the sounds as much as you want. You can also adjust the attack, decay, sustain, release, make the sound more punchy or longer, filter. You can also route your own sounds to it via other synths. So you can turn this off, and if you have a sound or synth you like, you can use that specific sound with MIDI Wizard's specific chord progressions and melodies. Although there are so many high quality sounds in the built-in synth that are designed over the last year by our world-class sound designers, I think you're gonna be extremely happy with what's inside stock. Plus you have all these expansions that you're gonna have the option to get. All right, so let's move on to the next genre here, RMB. Let's go ahead and open this MIDI Wizard. And for this one, we're going to generate a full chord progression. So we're in D minor. I'm just going to press this and see what it gives us. So on top of that chord progression, we have this existing melody, which was generated with MIDI Wizard and processed with Sound Doctor. So you can see with and without Sound Doctor, it sounds like this. And then with way more dreamy if we wanted to add a bass line we can link bass dragon just like that and something else that's really cool that you can do is you can link two instances of midi wizard together i'm going to duplicate midi wizard you're going to be really blown away by this now we got two instances of MIDI Wizard. 
I'm going to have one over here and one over here. And this is where we're going to use the specific melody mode. So we're going to keep one on chords and then select melody on the other. And they're both linked now. So they're going to, it's going to create a perfectly matching top line to the chord progression. So let's choose a different sound for the melody and take a listen. And we can do it again as many times as we want to get something completely fresh. You can obviously change the preset. So now would be a good time to explain how this all works. I mean, you're probably thinking like, how on earth is this even possible? Like, is it really unlimited amounts of generations possible? The answer is yes, there's almost a trillion possibilities within this plugin. To create it, we created micro fragments from hit songs for melodies and chord progressions. Now we basically crack the code on how hit songs are made in terms of their chord progressions and melodies. That's why when you generate a chord progression, it'll always sound good because it's picking the exact chords that are supposed to sound good in sequence. You got tons of options for that as well. And for the melodies, it's combining micro fragments that were based off hit songs. We created thousands of thousands of them ran them through AI to create exponentially more options and then sorted through them, removing anything that wasn't good and fine tuning and fine tuning over the last year and also designing presets from the built-in synth plus some other crazy stuff that would take probably a week to explain. But that's the basic overview. So yes, you do have unlimited basically options that it's going to generate. Everything is custom for you you're pretty much not going to generate the same thing twice and you got 32 genres. So let's keep on going. All right. So next is Synthwave. This is a super fun genre. So that's something I had from before, but we can go ahead and choose a pluck maybe and try it again. So let's solo that and take a listen. And as you can see here, it has velocity sensitivity, which uh, version 1.0 didn't have. This makes it a lot more human and you can go ahead and adjust them for the individual notes. Uh, and you also have all these commands on the piano roll, um, which you can take a look at. You can quantize, you can have scale highlighting. So it'll only highlight notes that are in the correct scale. So you know, if you're trying to customize your uh, melody or chord progression after the fact, you know exactly which notes are correct to use. And also you can zoom in on the piano roll, adjust the notes like that, adjust the velocity, you have swing, you can place new notes, and best of all, you can drag and drop it right out of the plugin into your project. So you can either do audio just like this, it'll take a moment to export and you got it like that, or you can drag and drop the MIDI right in as well onto a MIDI track. You can see you got it right there. It'll keep all the velocity information and everything like that. Or you can press this button to export it onto your computer to either just have there or use for later. So let's uh, continue with the synth wave. Let's solo it and try some different sounds. You can obviously change the octave. All right, cool, let's carry on. So next we got rock and we've designed some really realistic guitars for this. So I'm super happy with how rock turned out. So let's go ahead and bring up MIDI wizard here, MIDI wizard 2.0. And uh, here we go. Let's generate a chord progression. Let's see, let's see what it comes up with here. Let me mute this melody down here. Let's try again. And as I mentioned before, you can adjust the chord progression yourself. So if we come here, we could pick you know, this one and it'll choose a different chord progression right there.
Let's try rhythm as well. Let's also try hybrid standard. So hybrid is a brand new mode that did not exist before. This combines the most AI and we got a standard and an advanced mode. Standard will be kind of a mix of a melody and chord progression, but slightly more simple and arpeggiated like this. And we got hybrid advanced. This is my favorite mode. If you want just one click for a hit melody, this is the way to go. Now we can get Bass Dragon again, link it all up. So let's go ahead and open up Bass Dragon because these rock bass lines are super cool. So let's go ahead and put them to group four. Let's go ahead and take a listen now. Cool, let's move on to the next genre now, which is techno and melodic techno. So let's see what we got to begin with. Let's see what MIDI Wizard can give us on top of that. You can also change the sound. And you also got these macros here, which you can adjust to instantly fine tune the sound. So as you can see, that's increasing the noise. That's filtering it out and all these sounds have macros, so you know you can fine tune your sound super easily like that. All right, so let's move on to the next genre here, which is UK Drill. Now let's try Hybrid Advanced. So it does everything from scratch. Let's see what it comes up with. And by the way, MIDI Wizard 2.0 has AI core progression generation. So if you have our MIDI packs or you have existing MIDI that you're working with, you can just take the progression so you can see this is that uh, this is the progression it is. If you just drag it onto MIDI Wizard, it'll detect and it'll match uh, either your melody, chord progression, hybrid exactly to that progression. And then last but not least, we can go ahead and group them. Uh, via unison link, get a bass drag and bass line going. And obviously you can zoom in, you can lengthen the notes if you want, and you can really customize all this stuff until it's exactly the way that you like. Last but not least, let's move on to disco, which I really love as well. So let's check this out. So right here, we have the MIDI Wizard Rhythm Chord Progression. Try a different one. You can try a melody pluck as well. Switch the sound. We can try a lead melody. So as you can see, the possibilities are endless and you can have so much fun doing this. We only went through eight out of the 32 genres. You know, if I went through all 32, it would take way too long, but when you get your license, you're gonna be able to go through each one of these genres and mix and match and come up with unique music nobody's ever made. Because if you mix, for example, a disco melody, if you're making house music or hip hop, you can really create some unique, interesting stuff that's, uh, you know, this is what the power of AI and new technology is supposed to allow you to do. Get outside your comfort zone, enable you to think of things and create things you normally would not be able to create or think of. And uh, yeah, that's what makes this just so great and so much fun.